Okay, everyone, uh, we're going to get your uh, new car uh, niche site installed. And this is the site, that's what it looks like. And really, this is a good site. I really, really like it. Um, I'm actually going to be using it myself. Um, this is a great site, if uh, especially to go with when you get Auto Shopper Portal. So um, I, I really, I really hope you get this site uh, up and running. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this installed. So it installs very easy. Um, everything's been updated in the site. It's ready to rock. It installs with Duplicator. Okay, so if you've installed uh, any other sites, um, you know that I use WCloner and Duplicator. Duplicator, but this site, um, we just use Duplicator. Okay, um, if you don't know how to install the site with Duplicator, Duplicator, you can go on YouTube, um, and they'll show you how. Um, but I'm going to show you um, exactly how to do it in this video. So let's go ahead and get started installing your new niche car site. Let's go ahead and log in to your cPanel. I'm going to uh, assume that you already got a domain for it or you know that you're going to put it on a subdomain um, or whatnot. For this particular example, I'm going to be um, installing this site on a subdirectory um, or a subfolder um, just for this example. Okay. So, what we need to do is we're going to be going down to your file manager and we're going to click file manager and we're going to be going to the web root. Okay. This is the web root of your main domain. The web root and main domain is the same thing. So we're going to click go. Okay, it'll open up in a new tab. Um, if you're putting the site on your main domain, you're not going to have anything here. Um, otherwise, if you're putting on an add-on add domain or a subdomain, you're going to choose the folder in which you're putting the site on. Now, for my case, I have to make a new folder. And I'm just going to call it I'll just call it car blog 2 and we're going to create the folder okay so now we're going to go into that folder we just created or in your case if you've already have an add-on domain you're going to go in your add-on domains folder and it will be empty okay now we need to click on upload okay before we upload I'm going to show you what you're going to have in your downloads now you get the email um, you get the email after you confirm your email, you'll get the email with your download. Okay, so after you download it, I'm going to show you what you have. Okay, you'll have a zip file called car niche blog files. You'll just need to extract that and then go into the open folder. Now you're going to have um, the duplicator install files. It's going to be a folder. This is where your install files are. Um, and then you have a zip folder for articles. Then you have your login and then you have um, another uh, zip folder uh, PLO articles so in the duplicator install files these are the two files we're going to be working with okay so back on our upload files we're going to click browse okay we're going to go into our car niche blog files folder we're going to go in the duplicator install files and we're going to choose this zip folder here okay click open next we're going to click browse again and we're going to upload the installer.php. Now we're going to let these two uh, upload. While this is uploading, we're going to go back to our cPanel home and we're going to scroll down to MySQL database wizard. And we're going to create a database for this site. So let's uh, uh, pick a name. Okay, I'm just going to call mine cars2, click next step, and we're going to create the username. You can name it the same thing if you'd like. Now we need to generate a password. You want to make sure that you're copying your password and putting it on a notepad. So once you have your password in, you're going to click create user. Okay, now you need to copy this, your database. And you only need to copy this once since we named it the same thing. If you named it different, you need to copy both your user and database name. After you got that copied to a secure location, click on All Privileges and then click Next Step. Okay, now we're done with our database and you can click the Home icon. Now we're going to jump back over where we're uploading and you can see that they're both complete. Now we're going to click this link to go back. Okay, so what you will have is you'll have your zip folder of the backup of the site and then you'll have the installer.php. Now we need to open up a new browser tab and we're going to be um, navigating to your site into the installer.php script. So in your browser you're going to be typing in your domain where you put this site. 
slash installer dot php this is going to go in your browser okay so when you type that in you're going to go to the duplicator installer okay now you can leave the action the same you can leave the host the same we need to type in or our, our paste in our database name and username okay so we'll paste that there and the username in my case was the same and now we need to paste in our password okay at this point we're going to click on test connection okay and then we're going to click close and then check the box and then click run deployment and then it's going to give you a little pop-up just to make sure you're sure and then click OK okay next we're going to click on run update okay and it's going to give you some final steps okay what we're going to do is go ahead and click on save permalinks okay at this point you need to log into your site and I give you the login details on the notepad within your downloads so back in your downloads you're going to click on and open the notepad file that says login user login okay you'll have a username and, and a password so we're going to log in with these details okay so we'll just click login and now we're just going to scroll down it'll take you to your permalinks page we're going to scroll down and just click save changes okay the next thing we're going to do in this top box is going to be telling you they need to uh, uh, delete some files so we're going to click on remove files now okay at this point your site is installed and ready for you to do the basic setup steps